Alright everybody, welcome back to another match review. It's finished Redden nil Sunderland 3. An absolutely dominating performance from start to finish. I was quite disappointed personally in Redden. They didn't offer no going forward. They were allowing us possession. They stood off us basically. And uh, for me, my man of the match, I want to give it straight away, Patrick Roberts. How about you? Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> How about you, Stephen? Who was your man of the match? Well, get it out of the way. You just said that you were disappointed about it. Now I wasn't disappointed. I was pleased with them, but the surprise is because I was expecting a lot more than what they give us. Right. Um, but that's nothing to take anything away from our team performance. No. But from out of the match for me, I'm giving it to uh, Alicia. I think first start in the league this season, he stepped in to a defence which has been pretty solid all season, like the same people, and he's coming as the new boy to the defence. And for me, I thought today he was absolutely phenomenal. I thought he, every tackle he won, his passing was great, his energy was good, he was getting up, he was getting back. Um, and if that's how he's starting with his first league performance, um, I, I can't wait to see what else he brings to the team this season. And that's the thing for me, Stephen. It was a great team performance. I yeah. kind of argue really with, with your man of the match. Could have given it to one or two others. Jack Clark, outstanding. Dan Neil, amazing yeah. in the midfield. You, you could have really picked quite a few. But for me, Roberts, his composure in his two goals was oh, it was outstanding, like I keep saying. Um, the the build-up in our second goal, though, how amazing was that? The, from, no, the third. Oh, was it the third? The third. I was the, no, the, 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 the flick. The third one. The flick. The back heel. I suppose the build. All three goals. Were, the, the all the three goals were phenomenal. But one of the Nicely played by Sunderland. Neil looking for Clark. It's a lovely ball. It's a. And where they played it at the back from Patterson to 9 and then to Gooch, and then it was forward. Little back a little one two. Like a little triangle that, that, passes. That, that, that was the third one. And then the ball, the ball got played across to Jack Clark. Uh, are you right? It was, yeah. it was the he, third goal. Skip past his defender and then slotted the bottom corner. Oh, was Three great goals. Took brilliantly by Robinson, both of his and Clark. They showed so much composure. For, right. for, for, bear in mind, we didn't have a striker on the pitch after Sims went off. Clark and Roberts, I mean, the, we know how good they are, mm -hmm. but they showed great composure. <laughs> they showed great composure for all of the goals, and uh, it, like I say, it was a joy to watch. Great team performance. We expected more from Redden, but did, were they just having a shit night, or mm -hmm. did, did where we played does not allow them to well, play the way they wanted to play? We did have a Redden supporter coming on to a chat that says, "Didn't worry about it. This is the way we we'll always play," and then we're going on to win the game. But he got kept, he got silence more or less after that because right. we we'll scored. But uh, like I say, what well, um, Clark's two finishes. This the, uh, one of the one of the finishes I think was his first one where he came in the box. He sort of faked the shot. The, yeah. def the defender went sliding in and then he put it away. That was uh, I think that was the second one. It was, it was the we, second we, one. Emerton played the ball. Dan Neil stepped over it. Right. Roberts took the touch and he passed one defender. Then he faked the shot and then started it up. Like I say, it was, the, the goals were brilliant. And then Clark's. Ace composure as well. Yeah, it's, like I say, three 0 three brilliant goals t yep. from from the two wide men um, playing as like the forward wide men, and it's, it's what you want. It's what exactly you want to see. I mean, yes, we've, we've got to be honest. It is uh, slightly worrying. Mm -hmm. um, I know we've got through three 0 tonight, but it is slightly worrying now that both of our strikers are injured, um, and we were screaming out for another striker to come up, like to get brought in on January. Yeah, and now it's January. starting to bite. Uh, um, yeah. the transfer ah, the winner. and now it's starting to bite us in the arse a little bit that we didn't have one in I mean we've got we've got players that can't play yeah. it, it up front but, you have, you have, right. but the, none of the players we've got that can't play up front are above 5 foot 4 <laughs> exactly <laughs> so yeah. you know I, mean? I might be going a bit low there but um, no, you're not far we've, off we've got no height now because Stuart and Sims I mean we've got we've got one game on Saturday um, if Sims is not right I'd imagine I don't know, it might be Bennett or Abad might start up there. We don't have to wait and see. Or Diaco can as well. Yeah, but then after that, we've got a two-week break, uh, which is... Oh, well, Sims will be back by then, because he, 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 yeah. like he seemed to want to start, like, carry on playing, and then he went well, he down. Tried, and he, he tried three times, didn't he? Uh, so. so hopefully, like you see, he might, might miss Saturday's game. If yeah. not, he's, he'd definitely be back for after the uh, break. I'd imagine same, so, yeah. same with Sir. There's a couple of people in the chat saying, I don't think he's done his metatarsal, but... As we said, the, uh -huh. way, the way the physio was manhandling his uh, foot, he right. wasn't even changing his facial expression. If you brought your uh -huh. metatarsal and your, your doctor or physio was squeezing and shaking your foot like that, you'd be screaming like that. Uh, I know. But like I say, another, another good thing, Stephen, we kept a clean sheet. We did indeed. It's like, that's what you're saying. Like, we won 3 0, so a lot of, like, I'm not saying that's a reason you have, but you went with Roberts because he scored two goals. But when you win 3 0, it's also it's easy to forget the fact that we've kept a clean sheet. I 
And that's why I went with the lease here because I thought he was tremendous. I mean, Luke O'Neill was class. He always is because I love him. And uh, Patterson, he didn't have much to do, but what he Not did really. have to do, he dealt with it well. And like I said, it was, it was a good team performance. It was a joy to watch. Mm -hmm. And it's perked me right up. That, but do you know what? That, that's why I didn't argue with you because when you said, well, we did see it throughout the stream, I went, do you know what? You, it's, it's always the striker or the person who scores the goals who gets them out of the match. Yeah. Why can't a defender not? Because I, I personally said that Alicia played class yeah. and they, they, they kept a clean sheet. Well, a lot of people in our chat, when we asked them to put who they thought was one of the match, pretty much everybody was saying either Alicia Roberts. There was probably more Roberts than anybody else. Right. But the majority of people were saying Roberts, Alicia or Clark. Right. Um, which... Well, the majority of people have put three names up for one of the match it shows just how, how good the team performance oh, was. Definitely, definitely. Well, that's about it. It is indeed. Well, we won 3 0, three points in the bag. And we move on to Saturday. Right. Watford away. Well, another away game. Oh, you know. So, unfortunately, you have to put those two against it there. Honestly. Um, but you'll see us probably tomorrow night with a match preview for the Watford right. game. Right. Tomorrow um, night. Oh, I don't know about tomorrow night. We'll, we'll sort it out there'll be a video up for the match yeah, preview yeah. at some point alright yeah. um, but until then thanks for watching hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you're new see you in a minute. and we're the lads